You have yourself a nice little snack today? What? Um, I guess I had a pretty good banana. Not too green, not too ripe. Wasn't bad. Enough with your banana babbling. I know you ate my oatmeal. Stole it from the fridge like a right little thief, didn't you? Why would anyone want to steal someone else's oatmeal? Because it's delicious, and I can smell it on your breath. I don't want your oatmeal, and I really don't like being called a thief. <laughs> if you want to continue this conversation, I'm happy to do it in the ring. Like I have time to mess with the likes of you. I've got big time stuff to do, let alone the fact that I've got to go out and get myself a new bowl of oatmeal. I'm far too busy. No thanks to you. If it would help, I can make sure to beat you quickly. Why don't we get in the ring for, what do you say, five minutes? Surely you can carve out that amount of time to avenge the theft of your precious oatmeal. So you admit it. I admit nothing, except a desire to clear my name. Fine. You can have five minutes of my time and a fair dose of my fury. You'll think twice before you cop any more of my snacks. No one steals from the goat. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, the Princess Jay Taylor. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. Well, one thing is you have to answer Becky's amazing in-ring IQ and willingness to do anything to win. Well, if she can find the right strategy, it'll change her career. and Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. Well, you could say that Becky Lynch has carved out a Hall of Fame career simply because she has believed in herself every step of the way. Don't step away for a bowl of popcorn. This five minute time limit match promises to be a quick one. But that doesn't mean it won't pack in the action. Well, you can do a lot of damage in five minutes, both to your opponent and their reputation. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. A strong right forearm. Ah, oh, side coming. Becky Lynch on the move. Not finished yet. How about another? She adjusts it and reverses it. And well-timed maneuver there. DDT! Oh, 
She's enduring some damage, and that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Carefully measured double stop. Stunning swanton, awesome. Lynch is losing command in this one. Becky's fighting spirit needs to cause a change here. An atomic drop, and two boots to the much. Cover! Two! She was close to the end there. This could be a tipping point in this match. She's staying elusive. Oh my God, a DDT! Lights out. She wants to put an end to things here. Trying to springboard, didn't work out into a power bomb. And Lynch was scouted there. Brought down with the Bulldog. That offense really hitting her hard. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Intercepted by the man. Bang it back with their own counter. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Momentum is running away from Becky fast. Don't do it! Senton connects. That is tossing your own body around without a care taking no account for their own well-being. Toss back into the ring. <laughs> Setting up. Offensive knee to the face. Will that overtake Becky? I'm getting torn about on social media thanks to you. I certainly hope you don't think we're finished. I do. In fact, I finished with you rather quickly. Only because it wasn't a normal match. Those were unfair conditions. Everybody should realize that. Becky, you should learn to accept defeat and move on. I'm sure everyone will forget about it soon. Other than me, I have to admit, I really enjoyed myself. I don't appreciate getting mocked. Not by you, not by that squeaky little runt Alexa Bliss. We're getting back in the ring. I've already got another match tomorrow night. Besides, I've got nothing left to prove. But good luck finding the real oatmeal thief and bringing them to justice. I'm getting my rematch one way or another. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype.
Perhaps the best female high five. Io Sky ready to take this match to new heights here tonight. You don't earn the name Genius of the Sky by being anything less than innovative, Michael. While her offense might seem wild at times, it's obvious the amount of planning and calculation that goes into each movement. When Io Sky takes to the top rope, people often draw the parallel to an air show. And like a brush, Byron, we have front row seats. And she's standing across the way from a superstar who expects nothing less than perfection, or at least something close to it from herself. Someone who refuses to rest on her lords, refuses to be less than the best, and refuses to lose to anyone less than the best. This is just brute power. What a German suplex! Oh my, dragon screw! Wow, that hurt! We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Into the knee drop. She flips it back on her. Oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, oh man. It's Becky Lynch. Guess she's trying to get a rematch one way or another. Well, she's a single-minded competitor. It's one of the most annoying and impressive things about her. And that one's scouted. Running Hurricane Rana. It's incredible. Off the rope. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. But look at this. And she dodged that one nicely. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Great strength being shown here. Oh, look at this. A collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. This is just brute power. Io has lost any control this match. Io has to start volleying back somehow. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Uh-oh, 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 right. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh, oh, oh. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. She's back just in time. Thank goodness I did not want to count out. This can't bode well. Oh, merciless knee to the face. The right on dimming for Sky. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, the Princess Kane. And the outside help definitely had to play a factor here, guys. I don't know how anyone can call this a clear-cut win with that in mind. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine their head was not in the right place after that distraction. That's true, Saxon. It's hard to focus on just the match when there's an outside variable at play. Looks like we meet again. You finally gonna quit ducking me and face me in the ring? I don't know how many times I have to say this, Becky, but I'm not interested in giving you another match. Learn to lose gracefully and move on. You mess with the goat, and I'm not going away until I get my match. Every single time you turn around, I'm gonna be there. Is that supposed to scare me or something? I'm not giving you a match. I'm not phased by you. Aren't you? Because whether you want to admit it or not, I'm already inside your head. 
No, you're not. Aren't I? Because I think I've already weaseled my way in. Just you wait. You're gonna have nightmares about me. Sleep tight. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright... The man is here! We've got an unusual match direct from the subconscious of one of our superstars against three Becky Lynch's. You've got to be prepared for anything when you're facing three figments of your own imagination. This is a literal nightmare scenario. You're telling me. I'm pretty sure we're not real either. We appear to be just disembodied voices. And yet, I'm still next to you, Saxton. It's a nightmare scenario for everyone. My goodness, absolute dominance. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Oh, quite an effective counter. Running Swanton. Oh my God, springboard moonsault. Wow. Becky can't stop this string of offense. Becky's facing adversity here. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. And that could be a first step towards Becky gaining control. It's time for Becky to take advantage of a misstep and take command. That's gonna hurt. Burning the tables. Dodges. Hammerlock suplex. Ooh, that foils Lynch. Great job refocusing to reverse that. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Bulldog brings them down. She is looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Down the hard way. So she tags in. Big clothesline. Clothesline! Boom! <laughs> Clothesline! Off with their head. A oh, double knee face buster! Double leg drop! Becky can't stop this string of offense. The man's gotta figure something out. Oh, strong impact! Ridiculous standing shooting star. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, oh man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Oh, with authority. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh. And she's being held in check here. Yeah, she's being met with a roadblock. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. One, two. I can't believe my eyes. She just kicked out. How does anyone kick out at this point? Uh-oh, we know what's next. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Will that overtake Becky? Oh, shoulders down. One, two, and they're still in this. And Tagiri finds its mark. 
She had it scouted. Becky able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. Unbelievable athleticism <laughs> into the armbar. That was. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising. No. Momentum is running away from Becky fast. Becky's facing adversity here. Step up and Zagiri finds its mark. Becky's locked up. Oh, God. Knee meets face. But can they turn that into a win? Oh, man. Oh. Lynch now on the offensive. Yeah, but she's looking for the win. One, two. Breaks the close count. Good Lord, scarily close to three. She's going to try it again. Brutal knee right to the face. She's closing the book on this one. <laughs> Becky definitely felt every last bit of that blow. Into the cover. Uh, what? Well, okay, so right. much for that. That's why cheaters never prosper, Corey. Inverted atomic drop. Ouch. Oh, atomic drop into an up kick to the face. Boom. Lynch is losing command in this one. This is a more daunting task than Becky bargained for. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Into the DDT. Oh. Now she's got a chance to best Lynch here. The target's been acquired once more. Oh, oh, man. Man. That's gonna hurt. Well, that proved to be enough this time. Spear! She's got it. Got her shoulders down. One, two, bring that back. What a performance and what a win. There she is, the chicken still running from the goat. You know what? I'm done running. What changed your little chicken mind? Um, no reason. Doesn't matter. Just felt like crushing you in the ring. Why do I need a reason? Very interesting. But you don't. Just know the goat is going to step on your throat. The goat, the goat, the goat. I'm so sick of hearing about the goat. Are you gonna start braying next? You know what? Let's make it even more interesting. Loser has to dress like an actual goat for their next match. Hmm. I don't love the idea of anybody imitating my style, but in this case, I think I'll win and make an exception for you. Deal. This wrestler grew up in the business and now she's growing up. As if there wasn't enough animosity between these two, there's a whole lot more on the line as tonight's loser will find herself dressing as a goat for her next match. As always, be careful what you say on social media. You never know how it could come back to bite you. Thanks for that PSA, Saxton. Nonetheless, neither of these women will want to be embarrassed tonight, and even worse in their next match. All measured up. Jump kick to the back. <laughs> on the attack from behind, textbook neckbreaker. Momentum is running away from Becky fast. Becky's fighting spirit needs to cause a change here. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Got her where she wants. Uh oh, this is, this is risky. This is dangerous. From the top. Oh, from the top. That was awesome, Cole. Looking bad for her here. 
Her opponent's making good use of the stipulation. She better watch out. Here's the takedown. Oh, got the knees up. Could be a big turnaround here. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Connecting on the DDT. And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, now she has to turn this momentum around. This could be an opportunity. Was ready for that. Oh, nice deep arm drag. She gets Becky with a counter. Nice drop kick. Great elevation. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is... I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out. Moments ago. Back in it now. Things not going how she'd like. In order to succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. There's the kick. Bang. And Becky anticipated that. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Fishing for something beneath the ring. She grabbed a sledgehammer and she's looking to do some permanent damage now. She heads into the ring. Nice crowd kick. Great elevation. Standing Spanish fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two count. Oh, and a kick out. I was sure this one was over. Result. Yeah, stupid. Ooh. Ooh, what a full club. With the reversal. Here we go. Only crucifix into the cover. No. No, we're not doing it now. We're taking a lot of time. Yeah. For the win here. Gotta be it. She's still got something left. No. <laughs> He can't stop this string of offense. The man's got to figure something out. <laughs> got their opponent out. Driven down snake eyes. Oh, my God. Springboard misses the target. Moves outside. What's the plan here? And now she's placing it on the ring apron. And you just know she has something devious in mind coming up here. A rope step. Oh, that's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, no. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. And Lynch was scouted there. Throws her back in from ringside. Looking to end this. Taylor. And that 
seem like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. that I can't see in this stupid thing <laughs> wow let me get you a mirror or better yet I'll take a picture <laughs> Ugh, it's you well you've made a massive mistake now you've given me even more fuel for my revenge you have more than enough fuel by now don't you don't stand near any open flames you're the only one getting burned. You will experience a whole new level of humiliation after I'm through with you. More humiliating than it will be to wear that goat head in your next match? Good luck living that one down, Becky. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. She is a woman who is here. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. A woman who has devoted her career to elevating the women's division. Arguably the hardest working competitor in the women's division. And she's also a leader and she's a trailblazer. Well, you could say that Becky Lynch has carved out a Hall of Fame career simply because she has believed in herself every step of the way. Becky Lynch often dresses in unique outfits, but this one tops them all as she dons a goat costume for this famous four-way match. Well, for someone who considers herself as stylish as Becky, this has got to be adding insult to injury. Goats are actually pretty tough. Obviously, that won't help Becky Lynch tonight since she's just wearing a costume, but still, good to know. between these two in the display. Nice cap kick, great elevation. Standing shooting star, press incredible. Now maneuver goes 
to show you how much speed kills. Oh! Pick drop! Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. And she might start being a little more careful now, considering she's dealing with three opponents tonight. Back in the ring now. exactly what Alexa Bliss is thinking when she looks at her opponents like that. Quick thinking pays off. Does this competitor have planned for their opponent? From the middle rope! Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. And no countouts mean she has the whole outside to play with. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And she's wasting no time kicking things up by bringing this chair into Blanche. Oh, a high risk doesn't pay off! Why be throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness. Just hamming it up for the crowd. Cole, please don't give Bailey a reason to come over to all this. Big overhand. Ooh, what a forearm claw. Suplex. Come here. The pen's broken up. This is just group power. My goodness, absolute dominance. Great counter by Alexa. Closer than that without the bell ringing. And that was a precisely measured attack. And she'll get sent out the hard way. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? No, she kicks out. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Seize of the potential agony that Here's your winner, the Princess Kay Taylor. After a memorable fatal four-way, here is our winner. All four competitors in this match gave everything they had. But there can only be one winner in the end, and you are looking at them. I need to talk to you. What are you doing here? Did you really make a trip to SmackDown to insult me? Listen, I know we haven't had the best rapport in the past. Because you're constantly mean to me. Well, <laughs> after that Survivor Series debacle, I had no reason not to dismiss you. But even I have to admit that by now you've proven yourself to be more than just Justine's little niece. I'm impressed. You're starting to remind me of one of the all-time greats. <laughs> me. Wow, that sounds like incredible news for someone who cares. 
And that's another thing I like about you, your confidence and your edge. I think you and I should form an alliance. What's your ulterior motive here? I doubt you're trying to help me out of the goodness of your heart. <laughs> the goodness of my heart? Of course not. My motive is winning. I've tried to put factions together in the past, like the Four Queens, but they always fell apart. But that's because something was missing. Compassion? Maybe, but mostly another legacy wrestler who's at my level. I need someone to stand with, not carry. And with our family histories, we actually have more common ground than I may have initially admitted. In case you've forgotten, I've already got a tag partner. If you think I'm going to cast her aside... I don't. I'm not trying to break you and Ava apart. Just build something better. Maybe eventually even form a Three Queens. And with my help, you and Ava can get your tag titles back. Come on, what have you got to lose? Probably a lot, but I guess there's only one way to find out for sure. Why not? Excellent. And because you're still a little skeptical, we can take it slow. How about I manage you and Ava to victory in your next match? Sound good? Yeah, let's give it a try. Look who's here! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Charlotte Flair, the Princess Jay Taylor and Ava Moreno. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A promising rookie in the women's division. And I'm sensing an edge. Tonight we're getting the tag match we expected with an added wrinkle. Charlotte Flair joining one corner as a manager. I'm not sure why it's happening, but it's a huge boost to a couple of relatively newer superstars. You can't deny the confidence that comes from having a main eventer like Charlotte behind you. Or the effect on your opponents. They already seem off their game. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Oh, costly error there. Whoa, that hurt right in a kidney. Golly. German suplex. Lining them up with a drop kick to the side of the skull. And she can't put an end to any of the offense coming at her. She just has to find a spark somehow. Left by the turnbuckles. Strong counter from Jade. Oh, right to the body. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. She is really showing her confidence. 
Congratulations. That was an impressive win. I'm glad I got a front row seat. Thanks. Honestly, I don't know what was going on, but that almost seemed too easy. Perhaps that's just the effect of having me in your corner. Or maybe it's the effect of someone messing with their travel schedules to give them three layovers so they showed up late and exhausted. You messed with their travel? Wow, you're a quick one. If you want a chance to reclaim your championships, you need to make a strong showing in the ring. Seriously? Why did you do that? Charlotte, Ava and I want our titles back, but if we don't win them fair and square, it won't count as much. Relax. This kind of thing happens all the time. You don't need to worry yourself with it. Just focus on winning. See? This is why you need me in your corner. It's also why I worried about having you in my corner. You make everything way too complicated. Okay, fine, my bad. If you don't want me using sneaky tactics and want to get your wins the boring way, I can respect that. 
So we're on the same page now? Absolutely.